Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome back once again to the Friday Funnies. Well, as you know, it's the first week in April and that means March Madness is finally over. Now people are filling out their brackets with the 34 felony counts with which former President Trump was charged. On top of everything else, we have spring fever to worry about. Although the, the government is currently working on a vaccine. So there you go. This Sunday, this Sunday is Easter Sunday. Christians around the world will celebrate Easter. That means today is Good Friday, the most somber of holy days. And I sometimes get questioned about putting out the Friday funnies on Good Friday. I do it for two reasons. First, on a somber day like this, we need a laugh or two just to get us through. And second, I believe that God has a great sense of humor. If you don't believe me, take a stroll through Walmart, look around and have a good chuckle. So celebrate today and every day with laughter. Today's go dose comes to you courtesy of the Friday Funnies. Strange things are happening with our neighbor to the north. They're being invaded by monster goldfish. I mean, goldfish are cute when they're little, but people get tired of them and often relocate them to rivers and lakes. I mean, the problem with these goldfish is that when they're not confined, they can grow to enormous proportions and they'll eat everything they can find. The monster fish have grown to be over 60 pounds and, and can clone themselves. They don't need any help in making new goldfish. And while they're taking over Canadian waterways, Canadian super pigs are invading the U.S. Super pigs are a crossbreed of domestic pigs and wild swine, and they're ravaging Canada. Now the pigs have crossed the border to get into the U.S. to get away from a country where bacon is on the food pyramid. And if the super pigs breed with the giant goldfish, we could have Pigs that can swim or orange pork chops. I suggest you run away now. <coughs> Tony Saunders from Adams County, Pennsylvania is our dumbass of the week. And on several levels. First, he stole a school bus and he led police on a wild chase. Then he finally stopped the bus and ran away. And while he was running away, he stripped off all of his clothes. Thirdly, when police caught the naked bus thief and took him back to the bus, they found a dead deer inside. So it doesn't appear that any alcohol or drugs were involved, so what we have is a naked bus thief with a dead deer. And if you rearrange those letters and add a few more, you get our Dumbass of the Week. Do you remember that 2006 movie, Snakes on a Plane? It was scary and exciting, but this week, an actual snake was found in an actual plane. Friday Funnies follower Alan Weinberg alerted me to this story from South Africa, where the pilot of a small plane carrying four passengers discovered a snake under his seat. It was a highly venomous cobra. The pilot was flying at 11,000 feet when he said he felt something cold on his hip. He looked down and saw the snake, which caused him to feel something warm coming from the seat of his pants. He calmly got on the intercom and told the passengers, We're going to be making an emergency landing because I have a ca cobra in the cockpit. He was able to land the plane safely. None of the passengers were injured. And now he has a snappy new pair of cobra skin boots. <laughs> All's well that ends well. And this one has ended well, my friends. Thank you for joining me this week with the funnies. Please pass them along to your friends. Please listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter, and I'll see you next week.